On this video, I am going to show you how to use an iCharger 406 Duo and change the ending voltage of a charge. And so why would you want to do this? Well, there's a new battery type right here. Sorry, the text is backwards, but you'll get the point. LiPo HV, or some people call it LIHV. And this battery, it allows you to charge up to 4.35 volts. Whereas the standard LiPo, you charge to 4.2 volts. And so an increase in voltage will give you a performance advantage on the track or out bashing if you so desire. Um, the one disclaimer I wanna give you is if you're racing, most tracks use roar regulations and to be legal in the stock classes you need to end your charge at 4.22 volts and so for this video i'm going to set mine up to the roar maximum of 4.22 volts and show you guys how to do that um, and so just remember to be legal 4.22 volts. If you're out having fun, you can go up to the full 4.35 volts. And then one other disclaimer is charging LIHVs up to their maximum, it will reduce the lifespan of these batteries. Um, so just keep that in mind as well. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, let's get moving with the video. Okay, so here is my iCharger 406 Duo, and um, this procedure, it should work with any of the iCharger Duo lines, so you can use it for the others that iCharger makes as well. Um, and just a warning, like, this video is somewhat self-serving because this, these menus are buried and I forget them all the time. Um, I was kind of laughing. It reminds me of as a kid trying to remember the Nintendo Contra code. It's like it's just a super difficult menu and it's not very intuitive to get to it. So here we go. So the first thing you want to do is hit the start button and it brings you into this menu and whichever voltage stop you want to change, you just pick the program. So you could choose LiPo, um, but for this one, I'm going to choose LIHV. Um, and so we, once you're on that, you hit status, and it, put, it puts a red box around auto. And so you move this red box to highlight all these program options, and you hit select. And now it has you can move through this menu. So if you want to change the stop voltage of the charge, you select that and you get into this menu. And here is the charge cell per volt. So you come down here and you select this um, LIHV programming. It would default up here to the full 4.35 volts if you've never changed this before. <laughs> Um, so you'll just come down here and you'll set this to the roar maximum for racing of 4.22 volts per cell. So we select that. Then we move down here and we click back. And then we move over here and we hit save. And then you can exit out of this. Um, so yeah, that's the procedure. Um, you can... Pick what voltage you want. Uh, just use your conscious. Please don't go over 4.22 and racing for stock class. Um, but hope this helps everybody. If you like this video, um, please like it. And um, also, I would encourage you to subscribe to my new YouTube channel, which is going to be called RC Extra. And we're going to continue to make videos that I hopefully everybody finds useful on that channel.